Hey, how's it going? Um, this is Jimmy from Butterfly Crew Productions, or my YouTube, uh, Butterfly Crew, 411, whatever. But if you got the memo, I don't know if you did, but if you haven't seen it yet, um, go to video.yahoo.com, and it is a video that me and my friend Billy made um, called The Fox Chase Massacre. This is the first horror film me and my friend Billy have made. Um, it basically it's about two guys who are going to a party, and um, they pretty much their car doesn't start when they want to go to the party, and so they're just like, you know what, fuck it, we'll walk, even though it's a ten mile walk to this freaking party, and so they go, and they, um. Basically, what's been happening in this neighborhood that they're in is a whole bunch of stuff has gone wrong in that neighborhood. People still live in it, though, which is kind of odd. It's not realistic, really, in that way. But we were in a neighborhood at his neighborhood in Brandon Mill, so we did it there. And basically, there's this thing out there that's been killing people. They don't know what it is. They just think, like, you know, maybe, oh, it could be a gang doing this and stuff like that. People have been already cautioned by the police at night not to venture out at all without somebody with you or with a weapon of some sort but we go out anyway and basically um, we're being stalked by some creature we don't know what it is and basically it's our reaction to this thing and what happens to us and a whole bunch of weird, weird creepy shit happens now if you have seen the film you will know that um, it's dark the second half of the film like you can't see anything really but um, basically the reason why we did that one, we limited on lighting. So we did the first half in lighter areas of the neighborhood where there would be um, lamp posts and street lights and stuff like that. And where the school is, we did it there too. And basically, we um, did that. So the first half of the film, you could see everything. And then we lead you into some darker areas where you can't see anything. And that kind of builds suspense because you don't know what's happening when it's dark. And you can't see anything. It's kind of like in real life. Kind of puts you in the point of view of um, these people. Now the film is shot in the point of view of the cameraman. Me and sometimes in the point of view of Billy. Whom sometimes I give him the camera to use. Um, when While well, I'm doing something or I'm tired of using the camera. Um, but it's kind of like one of those Blair Witch movies. Except for in Blair Witch you can see everything. So yeah. Um, that inspired me to make another film. This film, most likely, I've come up with a couple of titles for it. I thought of one called No, Never Again. And I'm not going to tell you for reasons why. It'll spoil the plot a little bit. Um, but basically, it's about a group of people. There's basically six people in the cast. It's about a group of people who go in the woods outside of their neighborhood. Despite people saying, you know, there are weird people that live in that woods, you know... But nothing's happened so far. But people who venture into that woods either don't come back or come back insane. And these three people are like, you know what, fuck it. This, the woods is beautiful from what we heard. And so they go into the woods and basically all this weird shit starts happening. People are fucking with them, basically. They're um, cracking sticks. They're weird, like, whistling. They're sometimes um, laughing. And weird music starts playing sometimes. And basically it's just the group of people that lives in there. They're really fucked up. They enjoy hurting people and they enjoy scaring people. And they do it to the point of killing them basically. And basically it's going to be about what happens to that group, this group of people. And what they experience. That everybody else has experienced. And some more than others. And to the fullest extent possible. But that's what that's about. And basically... Um, sorry, I thought there was a car in my driveway, but basically, that's what happens, and so, I'm going to leave you with a tiny clip of this movie, and that'll be the end of it, okay? Alright, enjoy.
Sometimes it just ain't enough. We tell them every year. Stay the fuck away from our damn domain. But I guess. Just keep on happening.